Okay, he's got a gammy leg here. Oh, he's got two gammy legs. Let's have a look at him though. Gammy legs? Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and OfferUp. It's not very often that I film so much great footage and find so many amazing treasures that I need to split my videos into two parts. But this was a special occasion. A legend in our reselling community reached out to let me know he was coming to Las Vegas. So I jumped at the chance to go thrifting with him. We visited a magical wonderland where talented vendors create amazing displays of antique and vintage treasures in their individual booths. The venue, Paradise Valley Antique Mall. The legend, George the Antique Nomad. George the Antique Nomad, everybody. <laughs> So I just found this Devon Motto Wear yeah, trivet. So. It's on sale for oh, ten dollars oh, here. Yeah. So let's just do a little searchy search on my phone here. I'm gonna do a, a little eBay search. <laughs> no, it's not Metlocks. It's English. I spelled the W and I won. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. I know how to spell George. <laughs> what do you think of these for? Two dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. These are uh, made they're in England. Marked. Yeah, Mark. they're Elite Limoges. That was a pretty good company. And mm -hmm. you know, they're a little worn on the high points if that yeah. bothers you, but I would expect that was something that's a hundred years old. Right. So, they are yeah. right on so point expensive. with ten dollars yeah, it seems. Excuse me. That is a fun little trivet though. Notice this bird. Look at him. Long, large metal, long legged bird. He's 42. Oh, he's heavy. One second. <laughs> okay, he's got a gammy leg here. Oh, he's got two gammy legs. Let's have a look at him though. Gammy legs? Oh, he's not. He's articulated. Did I just learn a new word? Gammy is like <laughs> lame. Okay, I like it. You have a gammy, gammy leg. It's, look at him. He it's a heron with a fish. <laughs> oh, he's so good. I absolutely love this guy. He's 42, and I think he is going to have a new home in my border. Ta da! So, thank you! Well. All right. I appreciate that. If I see something <laughs> that I think we're close on, I will. George yeah. has found a vintage tortoiseshell Vegas girl headdress That's thingy. Right. I'm it's you, it's you. It's one of those Spanish, you know, the, the Spanish. Oh, the Spanish, the Spanish uh, flamenco. The flamenco, yes. 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 Exactly, yes. yes. Well, you yeah, know, right? what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Spotted in here a little pin oh, a with a four-leaf yeah. clover in here. And it's only $9.50, and I think I have to have that. Oh, okay. So let's ask. Loopy, do you still have the key to this one? Yes, it's actually open right now. Oh, it is? Yes. May I just. Absolutely. Because okay. I'm going to take this little four leaf clover pin here. Let's see. Four leaf clover and a wishbone. That's amazing. You have to be lucky wearing that, right? Spotted in here, another piece of Torquay wear. It's at the back, right here. Let's see. It's similar design to that trivet. And it is made in England. Do the best you can and leave results to time. That is good advice. 
one piece. I didn't know. Uh, let's sure. see. Is that the price on it here? Let's see. This one is 35. Back here is a gorgeous piece of smoke carnival glass. Another piece there with an orange ruffle. Look at this amazing green glass pitcher. It's hand painted with lovely blue flowers. Moving up to the next shelf, another piece of carnival glass. That one's amber. And look at this. It's a chicken with salt and pepper eggs either side. It's absolutely fantastic. I think it's Japanese. I'm just leaning to try to see if I can see a price on it. Let's open the door. Oh, no, not that one. We've got to close this one first. There we go. Oh, look at these little bisque kittens. They're 75. Just lovely. Let's open this door. There we go. And see if we can peek up here and find a price on this well yeah turn it carefully i'm hoping one doesn't fall off there we go let's see this is nine dollars what what nine dollars I think we're going to take this for nine dollars. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it for nine dollars? Isn't that cute for nine dollars? That's a great deal. That's I would. I mean, you would thrift that, right? Right. Absolutely. I just don't know why it's so cheap. What am I missing? What am I missing? But if, but if we get a deal, then I can put this one. Is that a repair there? Unfortunately, which is too bad because I looked it up and this piece does sell for about fifty dollars. But I it's salt, salt and it's um, pepper shaker. I know. Yeah. Oh I think it's been repaired yeah, though. Oh is that gosh. a repair there? It is, or a crack. Mm -hmm. Well, it might only be in the glaze. Yeah, it might be just crazing in the glaze. Let's see if it goes through to the other side. And it doesn't ring with a dull thud. I think you're okay, but it is a question of whether it bothers you. Oh, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Um, George is actually a certified appraiser, so we are getting an expert opinion here on whether or not I should pick well, this up. Well, here's, here's a trick, actually, now that you mention it. He's got tools. We have a black light, and this is another thing black lights are good for, is to see if things have been glued that will refract differently under a black light. You have a better one. Let's see. Okay, you definitely see it there. Do we see it on the other side? I don't, so I think that's just crazing because if it was broken through, you would see that crack with your black light on the other side too. Nice. So I think, I think you're okay. For $9, it's a no brainer. Thank you, George. I'll just set that out front since we made an empty space for her. This is an amazing booth. This is Rickety Old Shack Antiques. Here is their card. I don't know if George wants one of these, but. Uh, it's always good to grab the card of uh, a booth in an antique mall where you find a lot of great stuff and uh, make a contact because you just never know. They might be able to um, get you something you, you've been looking for for some time. So Danny found me this gorgeous little Anna Lee dove. I think it's a swan, but I think, I think it's a peace dove. Isn't that lovely? Oh, look at this fellow. He's amazing. Is it a baby dragon? It is. It's a baby dragon. Mm. 
is, there's another Anna Lee here. It's an Anna Lee little Christmas drummer. And $10 is a good price. I think I can get at least 20 to 25 on this fellow. Look at this amazing selection of jadeite. What? Let's see if these glasses down here glow. They do. Green Depression footed tumbler. They're fourteen fifty a piece. I don't know. I might have to ask Danny's opinion on those. Let's keep going. I love it when they have entire collections. Wow, the jadeite is stunning. As I've mentioned before, antique moles are wonderful places to come if you are learning how to set up uh, your own vintage or antique booth. Just the ways different vendors display can give you inspiration for your own space. So a Rima here. I have a feeling that these might glow as well. Ooh, look at that. 59.50 on that one. 69.50 on the berry bowl. These custard ware pieces glow as well. Look at that! George, I have a question if you have a minute. Yes, I do. Um, I know you know a lot about jadeite, but I came across a couple of pieces over here, and I was interested when I shone my black light on them, they actually glow. And I wanted to know that, um, my question is, if they glow, are they still jadeite, or are they something else? They are, but they're a different company that used a different formula, and I'm glad you brought this up because I actually hadn't shown a, J uh, a black light on these old ones. Now here's the Fire King from the 50s, does not glow at all. These are McKee glass, and McKee was known for custard glass. And so when they did their jadeite formula in the 1930s, it had a custard base, and the custard used the uranium. So the 1930s mm. McKee glows, and the 1950s jadeite by Fire King does not. There's another piece over here. Yes, and that one's going to glow Ooh, too. Yeah. And they glow really well. So they if do. you're into glowy glass, and you like jadeite, the McKee is the stuff to look for because it does both those things.
I absolutely love this Summerfield pattern by Fire King. It's just lovely. Little um, flowers in 70s, yellow, green, and orange, and there's a casserole to match. Just gorgeous. Got this little Christmas tree over here. This is fun. Little white tree, seven dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, this is twenty-five percent off. Twenty-five percent off in this booth, Danny says. Let's see if we can find something. <laughs> I just found a similar one in another booth and this girl is only $6.50. I think I'm going to have to grab her. And 25% off. You know, there's so many things I can grab and I know I can whatnot, but I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Here we go, the English China Company. And of course they were doing this because they were honoring the fact that Let's see if this girl goes. Look at this owl. Oh my goodness. Look, look at this glass owl. 650 on the owl. This is fifteen dollars. I think you could check that out to see if that's a this Oh, this is a doorstop. That's fun. Not very vintage though. I just want to see if this horse head over here. See, I love how you have customers in mind. I do yeah, sometimes. I mean, so many times I wish I did, but I like being look, able to say it when I look do. how the sea urchin. I mean, the jellyfish glows. I kind of figure that um, it's only nine dollars and fifty cents. Look, Ooh. as they saw me coming, an entire shelf of cats. Look at these. Cat lady, she is fabulous. She would be absolutely perfect for my upcoming whatnot sale. So we are going to get her. This one looks like Tanala. I wonder if it's Ken Edwards. Let's see. With Ken Edwards, you're looking for a KE on the bottom. It's not actually marked. But, the cups and but I love it. Good prices anywhere from $40 to $120. So I'm going to take a chance on this little guy for $15. I was telling you, it always pays to look up high and down low in these boots because you can find little gems that no one else has um, found. I just want to see what this is first. That is a little gourd instrument, which is really fun. But the thing I noticed was this basket. Look at this. How amazing is this little basket? So fun. Let's see. And it's what? It's, ah! It's twelve dollars for twenty-five percent off. So let's absolutely do that. Let's put this back up here for them. There we go. What's this? This looks like a vintage ashtray. It's been personalized to Tootie and Ed. It's not marked. 
but we are going to say yes on that little basket. <laughs> they have no words, Danny. That's me. That's me. It says, I don't think, I don't like to think before I speak. I like to be just as surprised as anyone else, everyone else. Look at, look at the face on this. <laughs> I'm not going to say it looks just like you, Danny. Okay, I'm glad. All right. <laughs> So I, after Danny took her tea towel down, this one appeared underneath. It says, underestimate me, that'll be fun. So this has me written all over it. <laughs> this is a fun one for my kids to give their dad. Stand back. Dad I am going to carefully take this off the display and we will have a little look at the others. Sorry if ah. I'm making you dizzy. <laughs> I love cooking with wine. Sometimes I even put it in the food. <laughs> There's a lot of... Uh, Sorry, let me oh. scoot over this way. Well, yeah, those sell really well for me around the holidays every year, but I didn't have any this year. Lots of tobaccoana, oh, cool. tobacchiana, match holders and cigarette holders and ashtrays. And George pointed out that these, this one and the bird, are actually treasure craft. So that is um, very interesting. I'd never seen those before. It's a really interesting case. Look at these amazing speak here. See no evil pig trio. I love them and I love the fact that they're three different colours as well. They are $48 for the three. It's an amazing Starbucks Las Vegas mug there. That one's 98. I think Danny saw the tortoise in here, the turtle. Dolphins. Oh, is that? No, that's a duplicate pig there. Some amazing collectibles in here. Sorts of cast iron figures and toys. This booth has their uranium glass already lit. It's a beautiful Italian art glass vase there. It's only $16. I think we should take it with us. This little case, there's quite a few little salt sellers. These are fun because they're all different colors. Wonder if that little amber glows there. Yes, it does. Look at him glow. Let's see if we can take a look at that piece. Um, like these, when you see these little discs, they've actually taken like 
the game sets apart and made them. That was a thing that they did a lot in the 80s and 90s when they found out how popular Bakelite was becoming to collect. So it's not that they're bad or anything. It's just that, you know, they didn't come that way originally. The, one of the I like ladies, the strawberry. One of the ladies at my store has a fabulous jewelry case and her prices are oh, wonderful. Oh, good. Oh, I will because that's actually something I'm really looking for. That's it does really well in Florida. I mean, they just oh. eat it up. I mean, it does well everywhere, but some amazing jewelry pieces over here. This green one, stunning. Gosh, I actually quite like this one for me. Look at that. Little spoons are fun as well. Oh, I love the salt spoons. Yeah, they have uh, little salt cellars up top too. May I please see those two? Yeah, the bird brooches, the two of them. Thank you. This one is amazing. It's a parrot. The style is, I don't think it's actually Jelly Belly, but the style is a Jelly Belly with the stone uh, in the middle as its tummy. There's the back, it's gold tone. The colors are incredible. And this one is really, really blingy. Pastel colored crystals, it's just stunning. What's the price on this one? This one is 28 absolutely lovely piece look at that this one is my favorite though loopy can i please see that brooch in the back there the big round one yeah yeah that one does that match the pieces that george has no i don't think so it's similar similar but uh, not exactly i love these blingy pieces of jewelry and they sell really really well for me uh, as long as you can buy pieces like this for a good price uh, they will sell I think I'm going to leave this guy at 28 but this one um, we will take with us he's only 16 just absolutely lovely display of glass here I spot some uranium let's shine the light on oh look at that it's a beautiful thick piece of glass and it really really glows we've got a little mini picture over here it doesn't glow quite as much it's so interesting to see um, the variance in the glow here compare this to this this is a lovely is it jadeite let's see let's see what it says on the bottom it's pretty 48 I love this pumpkin. Look at this pumpkin. That's amazing. Mm. 
Absolutely fascinating pieces in here. I love the perfumes in here. Look at the one with the big flower on top. It's just gorgeous. $18 on that one. Some lovely jewelry pieces. Pins. Really fun stoppers over here. And I'm particularly interested in this uh, Columbus key uh, little button here so I think I'm gonna have a look at that in a second down here are some really interesting paperweights have a look at those as well see how much they are this one is particularly fascinating another amazing connection collection of glass carnival glass Cambridge glass again a really really valuable place to come and learn about different types of glass. A really good antique mall with knowledgeable vendors. I'm gonna have a look at this frog with the rhinestones. This booth has some amazing things. It's hard to remember what you wanna see when there's so many good things. Look at the frog, you guys, and she has 30% off in this booth. I'm going to hold it against Lupi's shirt because that way you can see him. Oh, my gosh. He's lovely. I'll take him, please. Mm -hmm. And then what was the other thing I wanted to see? Um, oh, in the other side, I'd like to see these two pins, please. Sure. The Columbus one and then the Portland, Oregon. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Columbus and... This one. That one's interesting. It's, it's not what I thought it was, but it's fun. It's on that one's twenty five. Okay, I'm going to leave those. Thank you. Oh, may I see the Portland one? Sure. Do you like this one? I do like. I think that it's one. like a key tag or old hotel. I Is it think hotel so, or something saying "Welcome to Town" that sort of thing? Uh, but this one is actually from the Rose City Festival in Portland, Oregon, and I oh, just know that because I do shows there and have been around there. And it's twenty-five minus thirty percent. Thirty percent. Hmm. Well, we'll contemplate for a moment. <laughs> do you know anything about this one, George? I just... It's obviously quite 
called? Yes, I would say that it's 1900, well, it's 1906, I guess it says right on it. Um, extends greetings, the glad hand, and the keys to the city. I think it's just something probably given by the uh, uh, a tourist group, a oh, welcome I see. committee. Interesting. Oh, I'm down here. I'd just like to have a look at the paperweights, if I may. Sure. What's this one? This one is really interesting. It's faceted, if you will, mm -hmm. like a triangle. And it has a, is that a St. George's cross etched into each side? These over here also catching my eye. Paperweights can be quite profitable, especially if they are signed. Uh, you really have to know your stuff though, know what you're doing, know your artists, and uh, it does help if you have customers in mind when you are buying not only paperweights, but many glass items. This is a pretty little green trinket box, hand painted on the top with a rose. So I found this uranium glass candlestick for 16. I'm going to have a look at it to see if it does actually glow. I know um, Danny collects Disney items and this is an old card game. I'm going to see if she is interested in that. So I spotted this. It's hard to see because it's sort of behind the frame. So when you're looking in these cases, be sure that you look at everything. And I am going to have a peek at this because I'm not sure it could be fire and light. And while we're standing here, this is a lovely um, daisy and button amberina. And I don't know if you can see, but it does glow. Lovely crystalline vase over there. That's 45. I actually sold one of these not long ago. And this one's really pretty with the little butterfly on top. This one is uranium too. That has a $50 price tag. So I'm not sure whether or not this is fire and light. The texture seems right, but um, I don't know if the quality is there. Yvonne Thrifty Rich is very knowledgeable on fire and light. Um, I wonder, Yvonne, if you're watching, can you message me and let me know what you think? I'm going to lean towards no. Good try, Tiff. But uh, since it is only $5, I think I'm going to grab it anyway.
Danny says prices are really good in this booth. So let's have a peek, see what they have. I absolutely love this sign. The best gift around a Christmas tree is the presence of family wrapped in love. It's only 50 bucks. It's gorgeous. $22. $22. Look at this lamp. It's fantastic. 22 on the lamp. I wanted to show you Wong's booth. She has some amazing Asian pieces. These perfumes are gorgeous. She has a shoe collection, just, just some stunning glass. Look at the owl here. Over here. She is stunning. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Incredible Capo de Monte. Look at these safari patchwork giraffes as a mummy and a baby. Baby is ten, mummy is fifteen. I always pick up these Scandinavian mid-century wooden deer whenever I see them. They sell really, really well for me. Here's an Estee Lauder ceramic pot. Um, this one is, this is the big carafe. These carafes were really popular in the 1930s. And this one just says Catalina. So this is after Franciscan took it over. The story on this is that uh, Wrigley of Wrigley's Chewing Gum wanted to build a casino on Catalina Island in 1929, and they did. It's still there. It's a great place to go visit. And so they needed tile work, so he started a pottery factory there. And then they made pieces like this and sent them to the mainland. But it got to be too expensive to ship, so he sold out to Franciscan, and they moved it to the mainland. And they changed the name from Catalina Island to Catalina Pottery. So when you see just Catalina or Catalina Pottery, it's the later stuff. Still really good though. As you can hear, George is incredibly knowledgeable. So if you're not subscribed to the Antique Nomad, please go over to his channel and uh, subscribe to his videos. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed and you will learn a ton about amazing vintage and antique pieces. Thank you. So we... We did all right, I think. We did all right. We did some damage. We've only got about 72 boxes. Let me show you. We actually had to um, borrow their shop cart. This is Danny and my stuff. And uh, George's, I think, is over here. And, yeah, well, <laughs> thank goodness for the Honda Odyssey. As you know, it always comes through for us. So... Thank you so much for watching. We have George, the antique nomad in town. Thank you so much for coming, George. It I'm was so an glad. absolute pleasure. And uh, I hear we're going to see you again. My phone really rudely just died. <laughs> <laughs> so picking up where we left off, George, the antique nomad. Thank you so much for joining us in Vegas. It was fantastic to see yeah. you and Zeno. Yeah. And uh, we have another video with you tomorrow at a location yeah, to be yeah. announced. Yeah. Please, if you're not subscribed to George's channel, go subscribe now. And if you're not subscribed to Danny, which I know you are, subscribe at the Niche Lady.
Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>
across here then up here it's not visible on the other side so I don't actually think it's been repaired it's just glaze crack but it is great salt and pepper you could do with a good wash it's a bit manky uh, absolutely love that paid nine dollars for it I am going to ask twenty five dollars back here we have our fantastic uh, woven basket here I love the colors the green with the red there's a ceramic heart applied on it inside I don't know if you can see but it's sort of a plaid almost a plaid material in the bottom just a lovely lovely piece you could put some silk plants in there or whatever you wanted I paid $12 for it I'm going to ask 25 I left this one out just to show you the similarity that um, this girl I found in the second half of the shopping excursion. But uh, very Lisa Larson style, very similar to the other one. I paid six or seven dollars for this one. She is a little candle holder there. The light will come through all the holes sort of a green and white polka dot just looks quite Scandinavian to me just very springy and fun I'm going to ask 25 on her at the back here one of my favorite things to sell and they sell very very well for me are these ceramic safari giraffes this one is lovely it's got a big lion face on the mama's chest there and a zebra on the other side the baby has a lion on its chest too really really super pair I paid $25 for them and I am going to ask between 65 and 75 for the pair this is a lovely piece of Italian glass. I don't know if you can see the gold on there, but it's amber with um, sort of a gold finish. It's just beautiful. Almost a swung glass, stretch glass effect on it. Sticker made in Italy. If memory serves me well, I paid $18 for this and I am going to ask between $35 and $45. I was lucky enough to find two Anna Lee dolls in my price range. This little drummer guy was just $10. Absolutely lovely. There's this little Anna Lee face. Gorgeous piece, vintage holly in his hat. I'm going to ask 25 to 35 on him. And Danny found me this piece of holding a spray. Is it mistletoe? And a blue ribbon. Could also be um, a, a bird to welcome a new baby if uh, you love Anna Lee. I do need to point out that on the back of the tail there is some discoloration I'm not sure if that could be removed I'm not going to try it's not noticeable uh, if it's displayed like so again ten dollars on that I'm going to ask 25 to 30. back here we have our fun little dish towels <laughs> uh, little chicken that says underestimate me that'll be fun and the other one perfect for a dad stand back dad is grilling they're really nice I think they're linen this one has a black stripe and the chicken one a yellow stripe all the way around nicely embroidered I am going to ask $18 a piece on those this lovely piece appeared in my other video and just wanted to revisit this because it hasn't sold 
lovely cameo effect little perfume bottle uh, asking between 35 and 45 on this one and this is a gorgeous hobnail little perfume bottle look at that absolutely love these they're so vintage just stunning here is the stopper and the inside of that lovely lovely i believe i paid 12 to 15 dollars on that i am going to ask 25. So my little wooden cat that appeared in the first video went missing and in its place I seem to have acquired this chap. <laughs> this is a ceramic Brazilian cat. It says Brazil on the bottom. He's very vintage, gorgeously painted, has that Siamese attitude to his face. If anyone has a Siamese cat or has owned a Siamese cat, you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> He's giving you the side eye eye roll. I'm not sure what I paid for this. Um, the other one, I believe, was marked um, fifteen to twenty dollars. Uh, I'm going to ask thirty to thirty five on this guy. Back here we have our luminescent glowing in the dark jellyfish paperweight. Super, super piece. I really love these. They're great conversation pieces. I think this one was $10. I'm going to ask 25 These are Scandinavian little reindeer. I love this guy because he's got a little uh, light spot on his back leg there. The natural wood coming through. You can see the wood grain. These are just super. At Christmas, you can put a red ribbon on them or a little sprig of greenery around them. And they do look nice all year long. I tend to pair mine with two bigger ones at the back to look like a whole family. I paid $8 a piece for them. I am going to ask $30 to $40 for the pair. In front here, we have what I had hoped was fire and light, but doing a little research, I uh, found that they don't make an item like this, or they didn't make an item like this. It is recycled glass, I believe. Nice piece. Uh, beautiful orangey red color for Valentine's Day. I paid $5 for it. I am going to ask $18. This is a Tanala cat. I love him because he has birds on him, birds and flowers and a butterfly look. He is signed S, I don't know what that is, S-I-I-5. -I he is gorgeous. Happy little cat. I believe I paid, did I pay? It was either six or nine dollars for this one. And I am going to ask a 25 to 35. Last but not least, I think this is a Simonelli little Depose uh, Italian ballerina figurine on a little onyx slab. She's gorgeous, very vintage. As you can see, her paint is a little worn. She's holding a flower. Gorgeous, gorgeous design. The essence of a ballerina is perfectly captured in her. She is lovely. I'm not sure what I paid for her. Um, I believe I got her in Wong's booth. But I am going to ask $25. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my visit to Paradise Valley Antique Mall episodes one and two. And if you weren't familiar with George the Antique Nomad already, you enjoyed him and you are subscribed to his channel. If you see anything you are interested in purchasing here, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, 
your address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. I gave a range, a price range for each item, and I will accept the highest offer I receive by email. Please stay tuned for some fun footage of the aftermath of my whatnot sale from my vintage booth at Danny's store. Good stuff. Also some hummingbirds and uh, bear and Rio. In my next video, I will uh, dedicate some more time to our new German Shepherd puppy Rio. Uh, she is home. She is doing fantastically. Uh, we all, including Bear, absolutely love her. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Bear. He's a good boy. So as you can see, the fantastic metal bird we found has a great new home in my border here. I set him down on a slab and it looks like he is eating his little snack off the rock there. Absolutely love him. He is green metal, obviously vintage, possibly antique. Really, really uh, has become one of my favorite pieces here in my garden. So I have had a crazy day today. I've been doing family stuff. My sister's in town. My parents are in town. And I had a whatnot show scheduled today. I am here in my booth, which has also turned into my uh, whatnot selling station here. Let me show you my setup quickly. Just have my light box. And Bobby just bought the gorgeous Brenda Dunn um, picture here. Thank you again, Bobby, my love. I appreciate you. And uh, everybody is waiting for me to close up shop. But I hadn't taken any video today. And uh, as you know, Zeno and George the Antique Nomad are in town. They uh, grace us with our presence, with a wealth of knowledge. We are so excited to meet and have them here. We also have Jordan and Grant here. Jordan has a whatnot channel, just Jordan things. Amazing. Go uh, follow her on whatnot. Bookmark her shows. She's incredible. And as you can tell, amazing fashion sense as ever mm -hmm. i just love i said jordan i love your cardi and she said eh? what's a cardi a cardi yeah, a is cardi english an englishism for cardigan shortened to cardi and it and it's got is it are those geese or ducks uh i'm gonna go with good they're geese they're geese they're geese, yeah. they're geese. it's fantastic absolutely love more her. aggressive if they're geese yes she's amazing <laughs> And then, who, who is left? We have the amazing Noah. Noah is the cashier. <laughs> and there's Danny. Birthday week, girl. Oh, we got Rachel. Rach, I got you. <laughs> yeah. Danny's got all her Christmas goodies. The niche lady. Subscribe, comment. What's that? Oh, Jordan, Jordan hey, don't, shop. Don't show anybody that. Don't look. Don't, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. George. George, Danny, and I shopped at the Paradise Antique Mall, as you know, yesterday. You probably already saw that video. But Danny and I filled the back of my Odyssey, and, and George was very restrained and selective and disciplined and got um, 
a box full a box. of the actual and <laughs> But you <laughs> must go over to George's channel, subscribe at George the Antique Nomad. I believe the channel is the Antique Nomad, right George? That's right. Where you will be able to see exactly what George picked out and why at the Paradise Antique Mall here in Vegas. Such right, George? Such a fun place. Such a fun place that was. It was. Thank you so much for coming to visit us. We enjoyed every second with you. Me too. I can't wait to come back. Yay. Thank you so much. Merry, Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. Good night. <laughs>